What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to do a ranked match video. Uh, speaking of ranked, I've been all over the place lately. Early in the week, I was battling out with Nick Dean uh, for the top slot at like around 1950 rating. I guess which isn't very exciting because both uh, myself and Nick Dean 16 have the Minecraft cape for getting the number one weekly, winning, weekly winners badge at least five times, but we're still trying to get more of those badges. So yeah, so I actually went on a big losing streak. I lost like four, like I think like four or six matches. So I went down like a hundred points or so. Um, I actually dipped, I think, into the high seventeen hundreds for a second. So that was really low. Um, but since then, I've had um, a lot of wins. Wait, that makes it, I think I actually have a really high win streak right now. Let me see. Um, um, I think you guys can see the scrolls guy stream right now. If you can't, then sorry. Uh, it looks like all right, a 20 game win streak. Yeah, I think Scrolls Guide shows 20 matches on one page. Yes, yeah, so it's a 20 game ranked win streak. Um, I mean, 20 games ranked win streak only got like like 100 rating or so. So that's only about like five rating per win, which is not very much considering when you lose, you lose like 25 to 30. Um, but uh, yeah. And so I think I'm like 30 points below first place right now. So I have to pick my butt up if I want to get my 10th number one weekly winner badge. I don't know what that gets me. I don't think I'm going to get a second Minecraft cape or anything. Um, yeah, I play a lot of ranked. I actually want to see how many total ranked matches I have. Wow, 1,791 ranked wins for me. That means I must have played about like 2,500 ranked matches around that. I bet I've lost at seven. No, I probably I probably played clo closer to like 3,000 total ranked matches. I don't know. Actually, no, it's probably more like 2,500. But yeah, I, I'm. I'd like to say this is the most ranked matches um, won in scrolls. I don't think anybody plays as much ranked as me. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be back when a match is found. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to say in the beginning of the video, don't be alarmed that you haven't seen top plays of the week in a while. Um, I've been sitting on not that many submissions, but I do have enough submissions to, to make a video though. And I'm trying to do that, but I have very little time lately. Also why you haven't been seeing many videos on my channel. Um, like school, midterms, a lot of testing. Um, so it's it's hard to find time to make top plays of the week right now um, because it, a lot of time gets put into cramming uh, together that little six minute video. So I'll try to get one out um, like probably a week from the coming Friday. So probably like two weeks. So yeah, some of the plays are really old, so, so I apologize for that. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back when a match is found. And found a match. Let's head right into it. Nyx. Well, he is certainly a very worthy opponent. Um, Nyx, if you did not know, is the alt account, or one of the other accounts. I, I think that's his only other account. Of Nick Dean 16 So, I guess this is technically a matchup of... Um, uh, between me and Nick Dean 16 and I turned veteran to Mystic is amazing but if he's a ragdoll if that is bad because I don't have a turn two drop and that could spell the end for me maybe not yet I drew a nog okay very good and now I have to hope he doesn't have a brave so yeah the the, the ragged against uh, the vetter early game is really 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 uh, huge uh, he had a brave, and he's gonna be able to come down and kill that nog. That isn't good for me. Okay, so so far this match has gone very bad. I'm gonna have to give up that nog. I mean, I could put this up for protection, but I don't really want to contest what he has going down here. Um, it looks like my 30 ranked win streak, uh, 20, 20 ranked win streak will come to an end very shortly. Um, yeah, not much I can do about the turn one ragged. I was thinking about mulliganing. Um, Alright, I'm going to be able to take the middle of the board here, that's nice. 
I was thinking about uh, using a mulligan because I didn't have a 2-drop in case I got ragged wolf on that better. But I, I thought Nyx was going to be playing late game order. Um, that's what he has been playing on this account. With Nick Dean 16, he's been using growth. But for this, he's using late game order, which vetters are also not that good against because of uh, Kabonks. But I can't be too short in turn 1, though, so I would have at least been able to get the Mystic out. Okay. So, I really can't really contest this. I'm going to have to draw. Come on, get a stack card. Alright, nice. I have to contest with my own stack cards. But all these little creatures are going to absorb the hits. The hits here. I have to really get a relentless creature. If I want to come back, I'm going to need to get a relentless creature. Let's go for scrolls. Mmm. Welp. I still need a relentless creature. Like, really badly. I could just get a bear, I might be in okay shape. Um, he runs Rat Kings, I don't. I don't really like Rat Kings in an aggressive deck, I mean, they're more defensive scrolls. Well, I guess for late game growth, they're not really that defensive, they really just put them down in God Hand, but in, in decks without, like, God Hand, um, Rat Kings definitely more, feels more defensive. There's a Welton Ranger. And he moves up with everybody. Which actually means if I have a Ragged Wolf, which I just drew, I... can't... kill that Brave, can I? No, I'm close. Yes, I can only play one stack heart. If this brave was like here instead of here, if these two guys are facing, then I could do it. I need the ragged wolf in the back. Uh, well, this is not going too well. Um, I have to start taking that. I really, I really want to just run gems if we can get into the stack heart. That might be pushing it though. Yeah, I'm just going to play a Brave and a Stack Heart. I'll put the Stack Heart down, just get one of the Stack Hearts down. So now you're nice and nice and strong. And I'm going to move you up here and put you here. Alright. Well, if he has like he, he, cards like Crimson Bowl can really mess me up here, but I'm not in the worst position. He could just outright just take center idol as soon as he can, then take down the bottom idols. Um, we're both at four resources. A Ragged Wolf Stag Heart in my hand is very good, considering I already have a Stag, a stag Heart on the board. I still would really like a Relentless Creature. It's really, in a growth versus growth match, uh, aggro growth versus aggro growth match like this, um, and in a high enchanted creature with stag hearts is just going to be invincible, basically. Um, but I won't be able to do that much to, I'll, even though the Braves one countdown, like, he could just put up a Rat King to stop them. So I really have to get, the, or he gets a double stag heart. And that's going to be pretty good for him. But at least I have two Braves attacking. And he's probably going to, yeah, he's going to put that there. So I'm not going to be able to take down the Brave. Is, is it possible for me to take down either of these guys? Ragged Wolf, Ragged Wolf, Stagheart. Actually, well, yeah, I'm able to take down this Brave with just a Ragged Wolf and a Stagheart. Um... Okay, so let's go like that. And then I can follow up with two Great Wolves. So let's try to survive until then. And I guess I'll go like this. All right. So 
that was pretty good. Now I kind of have more control over the middle of the board a little bit. So I'm feeling good now because now the worst thing you could do here is like Ragged Wolf, Crimson Bull. And that would still, still wouldn't be the worst trade in the world. He goes to five. Like if he plays Veteran, or he plays a Nog Nest, looks like he's going to move down. And he just Crimson Bulls. Okay. So I guess I'll take that. That, that was far from the worst thing that could happen. Um, he's able to take out one of my stack cards, which is unfortunate because this guy goes down too. But I have enough attack to take out one of these Nognes. I'm going to actually... I'm going to play a Great Wolf. And... I'm going to use it as a nice big wall in the front right now. He could Earthen Mirth or another stack, but he has no cards in hand. And I'm going to take down the Nognest. Yeah, I'm actually going to take down the Nognus that has a, has a higher countdown right now. But I just want to stay on lane against this Wetland Ranger. Okay. So now, worst case scenario here, he plays like a Veteran or an Earthen Mirth. But Earthen Mirth, he probably wouldn't have great protection here. Um, he can't run away, because I'll be able to just smash him. So yeah, I think I'd, I'd say I'm ahead right now in the match. Um, I wouldn't expect that to happen after that really rough start against somebody like Nyx. He plays Great Wolf, and I'm going to be able to just take down that Great Wolf. So we both use a Great Wolf as like uh, some protection here. I'll get rid of this Kinfolk Brave. Rally. A Rally won't really do anything. I'm ac I could actually just take this Nognus instead of the Great Wolf, but I think I should just take down the Great Wolf. So I'll take down that Great Wolf. And... I almost want to protect this this Great Wolf, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Okay, let's move into the center of the board with you. All right, we're just gonna go with both Great Wolves in front here as, as the protectors. Okay, he gets a couple Nogs. And he just needs like a simple Ragdoll to be able to have enough damage to take down the attack and Great Wolf. I do have a Rally in hand, so if I need to, I can get this Great Wolf to attack. I'd like to draw the third stag card in my deck. That'd be pretty awesome. Both on a similar number of scrolls and resources. Definitely looks, it looks at the board, it looks like I have stronger creatures. He's done a bit of idle damage, but it doesn't mean much right now. He goes for a rally. I mean, maybe that was his only possible way of killing this great wolf. Um, so, but that's not too bad because now I can rally right back. Or Crimson Bolt, either one works in this situation. I could rally and take down this uh, Ranger, or I can Crimson Bolt and take down this Ranger. Um, and I definitely should take him down. I will actually Crimson Bolt so I can play the Nog as well. And I want to play the Nog, so this guy, this Great Wolf, is protected from a Kinfolk, an oncoming Kinfolk veteran. I don't really, that, well, this Brave is not protected from a Kinfolk veteran. I don't really, uh, I'm not too worried about quakes or anything like that. It looks like we're both playing very aggressive decks, and he waves the white flag. So, wow, I did not expect, definitely did not expect to beat Nyx there after that, after that really rough start. And I'm sure he's not too happy that uh, he lost that and let me creep up closer to him at number one. Like I said, he is uh, an alt account of Nick Dean 16 Nyx is. So that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. The rank streak is now at 21. And I will see you next time. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And see ya.